Mm-hmm. Former LRS senior brigade commander and third in hierarchy, Dominic Kongwen could return to Uganda to face a confirmation charges hearing if the Kampala regime gives the green light. This comes barely after the International Criminal Court revealed that the confirmation of charges hearing in respect to Ongwen will take place on January 21, 2016, and is expected to last three to no more than five working days. According to a news release from the Hague-based court, and I quote, the confirmation of charges hearing is not a trial. It's a pre-trial hearing held to determine whether there is sufficient evidence to commit the case for trial before a trial chamber. It reads further, the chamber considers that it would be desirable and in the interest of justice to hold a confirmation of charges hearing in Uganda, preferably in Gulu, as this location is the closest to the location of the alleged crimes or alternatively in Kampala. Pursuant to Rule 100 of the Rules of Procedure and Evidence, where the court considers that it would be in the interest of justice, it may decide to sit in a state other than the host state for such periods or periods as may be required to hear the case in whole or in parts. Ongwen, who was abducted at the age of 13, surrendered in the Central African Republic in January 2015 after falling out with LRA leader Joseph Kony. A man who had quickly risen through the LRA command structure, Ongwen Tukony was the role model child soldier whose streak of brutality earned him a place in the highest echelons of command. Yet to others, he was conflicted and showed compassion to abductees, especially those from his birthplace. On 8th July 2005, ICC judges issued an arrest warrant against Ongwen for three counts of crimes against humanity and four counts of war crimes allegedly committed on or about 20th May 2004 at the Lukudi IDP camp in Gulu district. On 16th January 2015, Ongwen surrendered to the ICC's custody and was transferred to the ICC detention center on 21st January 2015. His initial appearance before the court took place on 26th January 2015. In yet another development, the ICC has terminated proceedings against the Deputy Army Commander of the Lord's Resistance Army of Koto Diambo following the forensic confirmation of his death. Emmanuel Mutaizewa, NTV Tonight.